Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Hearts of Iron 4 video. Today we're going to be covering what could be one of the easiest achievements in Hoi 4, and yet somehow has hidden away from everyone else. If we look on the Steam Achievements page, we can see that Australia Hungry here has got only 1.1% completion rate, and I'm afraid to say I am not one of the 1.1%. This is incredibly tragic because Australia Hungary possibly has one of the best achievement arts in the entire game. I mean, look at that. It's a personal union between Australia and Hungary with two crowned emus. I mean, what more do you want from an achievement than that? So today we're going to take it from the low, low number of 1.1% and pray that maybe, with me and maybe your help, we can get it to 1.2%. Let's find out. Single player, new game, Australia 1936. So Australia Hungry probably has one of the simplest modus operandi in order to get it. At the top of the screen we can see that all we have to do is conquer all of Hungary's core territory. Now the problem comes with Hungary's focus tree. For those who didn't know, the historical Hungarian focus tree allows them to reaffirm territorial claims, which gives them cause over plenty of territory we don't want to conquer. So in order to get there faster, you're going to have to do a civil war. Failing that, you're probably going to have to go to war with all of Europe, and nobody can be bothered with that. So without further ado, we need to break away from Britain, never another Gallipoli. In order to get the fastest capitulation in the game, we're going with paratroopers. And because Hungary does have something of an air force, I'm going to just get a little preliminary air force set up. Hopefully that should be enough. Hopefully. And with that, Australia seeks distance from the Commonwealth and immediately into Abandon the Westminster system. This achievement, as I said, is pretty easy at the start and pretty easy towards the end. It's just clicking buttons, but I suppose all achievements are just clicking buttons when you think about it. With Abandoned Westminster done, we now get daily autonomy progress, which is useless to us because it's too slow. What's far more interesting is the daily democracy support going down, which allows us to get a civil war faster. Unfortunately, we can't take another focus until we get 551 autonomy, so we're going to just be waiting on that for a little bit. In the meantime, I'm just going to go down and do some railway focuses that don't give me railways, but give me infrastructure. No step back, it's on its way. I do wonder if these focuses are going to be, like, reworked with the new DLC, because Standard Gauge Railway is just one of many focuses in the game that talk about railways. I mean... What about the East India Railways, or the Integrate Princely Railways over here? The Dominion of Canada's rocking a Canadian Pacific Railway, as well as a Maritime Colonial Railway. South Africa's first industry focus is South African Railways. Even the recently reworked Yugoslavia focus tree directly talks about two railway networks. So yeah, I'm very interested to see if this is all getting reworked, or maybe they're not going to address it. Time will tell, I suppose. Paratroopers are done, which means we can now start spamming out some units. Okay, so we just reached over 550 autonomy, which means we can quickly move to support the centre party. We're a little bit late, but we had to wait just for the extra pips of autonomy. Luckily, we don't care too much about playing optimally, we just need to not screw everything up, which I am very prone to do. Okay, the focus is done, the centre party has been supported which allows us to immediately go straight into our demagogue. This is important because we're going to have to quickly use the civil war system to expand civil support, get stability below 50, and head straight for the ignite civil war. That does have the side effect of probably not wanting to train paratroopers and delete just about everything. I did say I was prone to making mistakes. In the meantime, I'm gonna have one cavalry division hiding in plain sight just so that when the Civil War begins, we can spawn a unit and get to work. So in order to speed things up, if you are so inclined, we have some extra political power to spare. So what you could do is ban communism, which gets me down below 50%, and immediately allows me to ignite the Civil War a little bit earlier. Luckily, the Civil War has most of Australia under our control. We just need to quickly pop down to Melbourne, and then all the way over to Perth. Go, my cavalry. Go to Melbourne. Taking out Adelaide was all we needed, and that is that civil war done. 
So we find ourselves ruling a centralist Australia. We are now independent, we now are run by the centre party, and now we just have to conquer Hungary. So historically, the German Reich should have finished the Anschluss, in this game at least, roughly sometime around the start of January. So we kind of need to work around that, because that's our main entry point for getting into Hungary. If the justification on Hungary is 240 days, we need to subtract 240 days from the 9th of January. As far as I can tell, that's roughly four and a half months. So where does that put us? Somewhere in the middle of May, I think. Shall we say May 15th? If I'm a little bit late, it doesn't matter because the justification, I think, gives us two months leeway. So hopefully it's going to work out. The Hindenburg incident, um... I don't think we're going to have Victoria this game. Alright, it's May 15th, 1937. So, let's begin the justification, and hope this works? My maths could be completely wrong on this one. Or math, singular if you're American, and wrong. Here's a question for you all. Have any of you done Rebuild the Nation? For 365 days, you just lose a political power gain, like... Who does this? Honestly, who clicks this button? This is the do you not want to have fun button. This has to be up there on the decisions that definitely need to be reworked. Surely. It's just such a huge debuff, isn't it? Never mind. Okay, so we've just hit the 1st of December and I've decided now is the time to join the Axis. It's probably going to take me a month to ferry my paratroopers all the way over to Germany for the war. Um, hopefully, hopefully, they're planning on doing Anschluss now. Oh, they are. Jolly good. This tells me this is going to finish in February, not January. Oh no, I've made a terrible misplay. Hopefully the Hungarians won't have built up enough in time to stop me. Well, my justification did line up just about with the 9th of January. Unfortunately, it's the wrong month. <laughs> so... We're probably just going to have to wait around for a little bit. Luckily, my men aren't even there yet, so in some ways it's a bit of a saving grace. They're still in the Mediterranean. Need to hurry up. We're not going to make it in time. Well, there goes the Anschluss of Austria, and my units are north of France. Right. Um, well, at least the Hungarians have completely guarded their units up against the Germans. So hopefully we can sneak our paratroopers all the way over to here. Now let's quickly set up some invasions in Budapest, in Pisch, over here in Debrecen. And then let's get some surrounding Budapest, just in case they have a unit in the capital. Okay, without a moment to spare, here's hoping they've got nobody defending their cities. We are not calling our ally in. Do not call Germany and they'll just steal everything from you. The paratroopers are away. Budapest was empty. I believe. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that is all she wrote. Do I get a peace conference? Yes, we do. And with that, in the bottom left, Australia Hungary complete. Simples. So, of course, what's important about that is we stopped them from being able to get cause on any of the surrounding region, Transylvania, Slovakia, Yugoslavia, and that would have just, well, it would have ruined everything, really. So yeah, there we go. You have the achievement. All is good and all is done in the world. And perhaps we've got it from 1.1 to 1.2%. But you might be asking, why did I make this video? It's a little bit sort of easy and straightforward. It's because it's one of these moments where I just feel like a little extra bit of content can make all the difference. And I'll show you what I mean. So, here we are, same game, same save, everything looks to be the same. And to most degree it is. Except we're now in my mod pack. And with that, there's a little bonus decision. An unexpected union. After a sudden acquisition of Hungary, the Australian people have convinced the Hungarians they share common values. Form Australia-Hungary. So of course, decisions like this, I would say, should become entirely hidden. You wouldn't even see this, 
unless you've already annexed Hungary. It's sort of one of those small rewards to those who are searching for the secrets. A bit like how Victoria is completely hidden to Germany unless you know the specific route to go with, with the Hindenburg. But without further ado, let's form Australia-Hungary. And there it is, in all its beauty. Uh, in a whiter colour now, I thought fitting with the Australia, uh, Austria-Hungary, we have the white Australia-Hungary in turn. Yeah, I, I think it's quite funny. And I thought, oh, excuse the flag, I'm no artist, I just... I just quickly made it and uh, put it up there, so apologies if you don't think it's very accurate. But anyway, I've also added this decision, which is kind of is interesting because a lot of the time we don't play with disconnected territories in Hearts Fine 4. So I thought what could be interesting as a concept for the future is the ability to actively move your capital when you desire to. So with this, you can move your capital to Budapest if you want to become a European-based nation, but you can only do it every 90 days, so you can't just spam your capital back and forth. So with that extra 25 political power, let's move the capital to Budapest. And Budapest is now our capital. We won't be able to move back to Campera for another 90 days. But with that, we also have the option to spawn troops in Hungary. So yeah, that was, that was my reasoning for doing this. I just thought that Something small like this is one of those cool ideas, and I really hope we get lots of small little hidden things in the next DLC. But hey, maybe that's something I'll talk about in a future video. So, with that being said, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you like this little silly thing I made at the end. If you're interested to see more, and perhaps see my future videos regarding suggestions and the future Hoyfall DLC, feel free to like, feel free to subscribe, Tell me what you think in the comments, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!